it's week 11 of the NFL, and featured this week is Darren Waller. No one's been busier this season as he currently paces the NFL in receptions. It's the Giants and the Commanders, and it's all up next. This building holds just north of 80,000, and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap, as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this commander's team coming into play here today. They come in in the midst of a pretty bad stretch here. Losers of five straight. So many different reasons teams hit the losing skids, but the best way out. The New York set to take the field. And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, and I like how you said when we mentioned it. In fact, I mentioned it, and I upset them a little bit, didn't I? Because they wanted no part of that one, and I was reminded, like a five-year-old, this is the NFL. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. They are guarding against the upset. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he will step out of bounds all the way down inside the 40. It's a big-time play there for the G-Man. 42 yards. I guess we got a good idea about what the game plan is for attacking the secondary. No beating around the bush with this crew. His first throw of the game is a deep shot, and it connects. That's a tendency breaker right there because normally... You build up to the big shot, but not in this case. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll roll him out right. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know that funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it work for this team. Touchdown, Giants! Darren Waller, his 25th touchdown. Tying Emmett Smith for the fifth most in one season. And the Giants get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He hit Darren Waller with a touchdown pass on the previous drive, and they'll start again with a first down. Throwing to start the drive. Barber. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. Touchdown! Darren Waller. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him.
their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He's thrown a couple of touchdown passes already in this first quarter and now looking for more as his guys begin first and ten. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Giants! Kenny Yaboa, his first touchdown on the year. And the Giants have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his third already in this first half, as he'll try again with a first down. Throwing to start the drive. Barber being chased out left. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's good for 28 yards. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Looking to throw. Barber escaping the pressure right. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. You talk about this Washington defense. This unit, they're hoping to improve against the pass because right now, Charles, number 27 in the NFL. And the easy thought process. And a good stiff arm and some space to run. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And that is a historic run for him, partner. With that pickup, he just broke Lamar Jackson's 2019 record for most yards in a season by a quarterback. No one has done it better across a 16 or 17 game schedule. Now his name will be forever linked with the best runners to ever play at that position. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Scampering home from 19 yards out as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. He's led his guys up and down the field in this first half. Three touchdown passes and another touchdown on the ground the last time they had it as he'll start here first and ten. zero and this is not the way to start a drive and they'll accept that penalty still first down here we go here we go back to throw barber dancing to his left that's caught by Waller out left side. Yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Throwing on first down. Barber flushed out right. Now this thrown deep for Slayton. That all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Darius Slayton. 56 yards and the Giants are able to widen their lead here in this first half 
He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He's already at 300 yards passing on the nose here in this first half as he and his mates start on first down. Here we go, set. Go. Throwing to start the drive. Barber pushes past him. Oh, some strong running. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. For Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> but I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense. And, and this is taken in at the five. Touchdown. Darius Slayton. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Giants are able to stretch out their lead. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He's been utterly remarkable in this first half. Five touchdown passes already. This could be a record-breaking performance as he'll start again on first down. Go. Throwing to start the drive. Barber. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Inside the 20, Darren Waller, touchdown Giants. Darren Waller on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Giants have taken a five touchdown lead. Well, they were back in the shadows of their own goal post, and that flipped quickly. So much for playing it safe. I mean, a conservative, easy call. Run the football, take care of it, create some space, pump the ball away, but no, let's throw it. And sometimes a defense's aggressiveness is used against them because when you've got people backed up, your natural inclination is to try and really force them back. And sometimes... Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Barber. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Throwing again. Barber flush to his right. And he's got his big tight end here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. So let's see what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. And it's the Cowboys on top as they play the second quarter. 
C.D. Lamb, a touchdown reception. From there, we head up to the Motor City to check in on the Lions at home at Ford Field. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Chase Claypool, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Finally, we head to the shores of Lake Erie. See what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. And that one all tied against the visiting Steelers. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. They've got the lead yet again in this ball game with their winning streak right now sitting at 10. On first and 10, Barber buying time to his left. Fights through him and they can't bring him down. And they work this well upfield across the 45. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem scrambling for 22 to first. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. On first down, Barber. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. This is caught. Touchdown. Lawrence Cager, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Giants have got it on cruise control. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. set to take the field still comfortably on top third quarter as they start things here with a first and ten throwing to start the drive Barber shoves him away and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line a nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard game. And this is a rarity in the NFL. A 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. There he goes, right side. Look at the big fella go. Touchdown, Giants. Kenny Yaboa. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Giants just continue to roll. 
In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And this one has gone pretty well to form. They've come in, had little problem thus far, and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth. Throwing on first down. Barber. He's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 37 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Barber forced out to his left. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. That's multiple times now. He's tagged them with a big gain with his legs, really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. Eluding the pressure right. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Off play action. Barber steps away to his left. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. That's caught. It's Waller. Touchdown, Giants. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Giants add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch, and it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it certainly feels that way, right? But when you look at the scoreboard, this rookie, he has his team moving at a little bit quicker pace than his opponents. The entire offense is going to get plenty of praise, but I think these coaches have to be especially happy with what their quarterback has done. And now out come the Giants. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton. 56 yards, and the Giants have 11-0 in their sights as they add on to their lead. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flush from the pocket, a lot of times you see him, eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off, becomes a running back. But as you noted, stayed alive as a passer, tremendous body control, and a pretty good arm there, too. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. I'm just wondering, do they want to add on to this gigantic lead? My guess, given how they like to play and how explosive this offense is, Charles, that they're not content being up by this margin. They probably want more. And if they do, Go and get more. Oh, look out. At that point, let's just aim the camera for the post-game handshake because that one might be a little bit on the tense side the way that this one is turning out. 
And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. Back to throw. Barber escaping the pressure right. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. There he goes again. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And, Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And, partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams. And that's been true today. Each side helping guide them to this late lead. Giants ready to come out now. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. On first and ten, Barber being chased out left. And just shedding him off there. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Well, uh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Barber flushed out right. the hit but they'll say it's incomplete well, I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be in all honesty he avoided his first sack of the game and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage just unable to on that throw steps away and he's got his favorite target yet again it's complete and they move this all the way down to the nine it'll go as an impressive 31 yard gain in a spot where most offenses would just be trying to get to the finish line and close this game out. They're still looking for points here in the final minute of this game. I think bonuses could be gained and attained with maybe more points. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Flush to his right. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. We've seen this already from him in this game. Second time, he's into the end zone with a rushing touchdown. So the head coach is going to have to have a meeting with the owner this week. You know why? He's got to let the owner know, I know you wrote the check for his arm, but we're going to make him a part of our running game too. This guy can do it all. Let's see where he takes us. New York set to take the field. Well, they came into this one with a vision, Charles, and it has played out exactly as they had hoped, if not even better. They've got the huge lead here and now the football for the final moments of the fourth. Yeah, and it was apparent that they were the better team, right? We figured that out pretty early. But give them a lot of credit for staying with it. They didn't stumble around out there. They didn't create a lot of errors for themselves because they were the superior team. They took care of business and closed them out pretty quickly. Throwing to start the drive. Barber. Powers through him. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. 
So an electrifying run there as he calls his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing the offensive coordinator, the head coach in their minds, drawing up some more running plays for this guy because he brings some excitement to this offense. And just a young rookie, a lot of electricity yet to come in this career. was a fun one today if you like points a lot of them went on the board both offenses were clicking Charles these defenses meanwhile <laughs> have a little something to clean up before their next contest yeah neither end zone had a stop sign in it did they I mean for both sides 